Diffusion is a process observed in gases and liquids. Diffusion is the natural movement of molecules from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. The high concentration is where there are more molecules, and the low concentration is where there are less. Molecules will diffuse until they reach equilibrium. Equilibrium describes an equal concentration. You can't stop this process from happening. And in fact, we observe diffusion in gases and liquids every day. Let's look at an example. A trash can with a lid builds up stinky gases over time. The trash can becomes highly concentrated with stink molecules. Let's use a green circle to represent stink molecules. How can we use the symbol to show a high concentration of stink inside the can? Well, we can put a lot of molecules in the can. This represents a high concentration. Some stink molecules can seep out, but most are trapped inside. How would you describe the concentration of stink outside of the can? Outside, there is a low concentration of molecules. What would you expect to happen if the lid was opened? The highly concentrated gas molecules would begin to move to an area of lower concentration. This is diffusion. Let's look at another example in a liquid. I have a glass of lemonade, and it's divided into two separate sides. The yellow circles represent sugar molecules, and the blue circles represent water. Which side of the glass would taste sweeter, and why? Side B would taste sweeter because there is a higher concentration of sugar. How would side A taste? Well, side A might taste watery. On side A, there is a higher concentration of water. What would happen if the barrier was removed? How would the molecules behave? Let's look at the water first and determine how diffusion will bring the cup to equilibrium. What's your prediction? Diffusion is the natural movement of molecules from high to low concentrations. I would expect some of the molecules from side A to diffuse to side B. Diffusion brings the water to equilibrium. How about the sugar molecules? There is a higher concentration of sugar on side B. To reach equilibrium, some of the molecules from side B would diffuse to side A. Let's observe the movement of both sugar and water after the barrier is removed. The result of diffusion is an equal distribution of particles.